So, <clears throat> wake in Japanese means reason. Um, but you don't really see wake nearly as much as you see wake ga nai. Do you have any guesses what wake ga nai might mean? Wake ga nai. It sounds like the negative form of wake. It but is a negative. That doesn't really make sense. Yeah. So, no reason would be like the direct translation. No reason. And this tends to mean impossible. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So if something is like truly impossible, wakiganai tends to be used. Versus like mudi um, is another yeah. way some people will say the word impossible. Mudi is more a personal impossibility. Like if someone's like, hey, ask blah, blah, blah out. They're like, I'd be like, mudi, mudi, mudi. <laughs> That'd be something they would say. Definitely not. They're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to. It basically tends to be more like, I don't want to do that is mudi. As more feelings in it. Well, wakiganai is more like, some kind of rule um it doesn't have to be like like a law of like the universe or something but it could just be like society demands this of you basically walking good night can be used um okay passive <clears throat> okay, so passive form so japanese their verbs are conjugated to illustrate different kind of meanings so passive right. form basically means the subject of the sentence, whatever is getting the wa, is no longer doing the verb. So, for example, can you read this sentence for me? Potera don wa ani ani no shitsumon ni gotaita. This one is in normal short form. And it says, the putra don answered Annie's question. However, over here, it looks a di little bit different. Rather than kotaita, it's kotae dareta. Can you read this one for me? Kotaete. Ani wa putera don ka, or putera don kara kotae rareta. What do you think that means? Kotae rareta. So it's like, ani wa putera. So the putera don kotae rareta. Oh, it was in my head a second ago. Where did it go? So, like, answered Annie, but not quite answered. It, it is saying that the Kuteradon answered Annie. You could also say, Annie received an answer from Kuteradon. Might be a way to uh, make a passive English sentence with that verb <clears throat> by adding the word receive. Um, but there, it, in general, English doesn't use passive nearly as much as Japanese does. Um, so it can be a little bit awkward to figure out how do we move everything around to do that. But these two sentences have the same meaning. They're both saying that Annie had a question and she received an answer from the Putradon for it. So the Putradon answers a question. Yep. Um, so I want so I have this little fill in the blank thing with um kowagareta. Kowagare which is um, the passive form of to scare, to be scared of, to, to, um, yeah. So I was wondering, how do you, yeah. Um, so I was wondering how you'd want to put something in there. I want to say Jack is scared of dinosaurs or dinosaurs cause Jack to feel scared. To feel scared, right. Jack is scared of dinosaurs. So I would imagine it being Jack wa kyoru kara kowagarareta. It's actually the opposite. It'd be the, the, opposite. the dinosaurs. So I use the word cause to kind of show the passiveness. Cause Jack to feel fear. Because kowagaru means to fear. It doesn't mean to scare somebody. <clears throat> so um if it's jakuwa kowagaru, for example, um jakuwa kowagaru means Jack is afraid. Jack is afraid. So because of that, if you wanted to, to continue that, it'd be jaku. jaku. So the, if the thing whatever's causing fear in that case, for example, um kyo you Kyoryuwa 
Oh, sorry, Neru. I did causative form. Neru. So both of these right here are kind of similar. Jack is feeling fear. The drag, the dinosaur causes something else to see fear. I'm using the word cause, which is why I did Kora Saridu, which is the actual causative form. Because it just, we wouldn't really use passive form in English to convey the sentence. But this kind of sentence does show up in Japanese. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I've seen that exact same sentence. It's not the sentence that I think shows up in this book, but I did see it in a different book. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's go read. Is it something that Jack is saying to Annie? Nani itterunda atsu Janaika. Yep. So right there we got wake wake ga nai. And that's being modified by aitsu ni kotaerareru. This aitsu ni is um put it on. That's a crude way of saying it. Right. So what do you think that part means? Aitsu ni kotaerareru wake ga nai. So, pterodon kind of answered in a passive way. Wakage nai. Hmm. We have wake, which means reason, plus nai. Impossible. Yep. So it's impossible for that guy to answer your question, is what he's saying. Or it's impossible to receive an answer from that guy. Um, that's why, so because remember, the last sentence was, um, That's Annie saying, hey, Puteradan, where are we? So Jack, of course, is like, Nani itenda? Which, um, what is Nani? Itenda, it, itenda mean? Iten, itenda. It's like, what are you saying? Yeah, what are you even saying? Aitsu ni kotaerareru wake ga nai janai ka. The janai janai ka is just, you know, like that negative, like, isn't it in English? Isn't. Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> so, what, what are you even doing? It's not like he can even answer your question right <laughs> it just is like that there, i don't think there's a way to like directly translate that isn't it in this context it's just like that right with like being very like it's like the net thing yeah exactly okay we've seen this guy before do you remember how to read this one i believe that was jikan i might be wrong um that's a good guess because um, it does sound similar to G, um, like, but it's actually a chi sound, uh, like not, not so not so not not like that. Um, so like chizu, for example. So this is this is where this is coming from. So for example, jimen, jimen, uh, this right here has G, and then men, right. And the other one right here Jinen. has chi. Right? So th this is my hypothesis that I came from. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> uh, this, this word is very common to show up in here, which is chi zu, which means map. Chi zu. Because um, this, right, this right here basically means like some kind of like drawing slash diagram like thing. Diagram. So chizu, this chi G part is earth. So an earth drawing would be a map. So right here is an earth kan, which kan kind of means book. Do you now know what a zukan is? What's a zukan? A zukan is a picture book, yes. I can guess. It is a picture book. But what kind of picture book? There's two kinds of picture books in Japan. Zukan and ehon. <clears throat> Ehon, that's a new word for me. Yeah. I'm guessing it's a 
uh, picture dictionary. Yep, Zukan is picture dictionary. Ehon is like a very like standard picture book with like a story and everything. Um, how about like this? Like novel. Uh, no, like like a literal picture book. You know, like the dog oh, jumped okay. over the the fence and then I don't know ate cookies or something. <laughs> Um, just Zukan is a picture book, but it's a picture encyclopedia. Um, yep. Okay. So what's good. what's this word? This is kiku. I close, that one. close. It's you had you made this mistake before. So kiku, as in <laughs> to I? listen, looks like this. This is kiku. Um. So you see, the kanji is pretty different. Um. Any yeah. other guesses? This means to write. Mm, that's very familiar. I know it ends with a ku. Uh, something ku. Yeah, and it also starts with a k. Uh, I'm sure it's kiku. And sadly, it it's not? kaku. 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 Oh. Kaku, kaku. Yep. Kore wa... Kaku, kiku. All right. Kaku. Yeah, you've had the... You've, you've mistaken kaku. them before with each other. Um, yeah. Okay. This is right here, um, Jack talking again. What does Jack say? He has a grand idea. Uh so the kono chikan not chikan. Uh chizan chikan. Zu chikan. Zukan. Zukan. Hi. Kono zukan ni nani ka um na kiku. It was kaku. Yep. So kaite kaite ayel. Hi. Uh Perfect. You know what kamoshirenai means? Kamoshirenai. Is it like I don't know? Kind of. Yes, it is. It, it, in English, you might pronounce it as perhaps. Perhaps. Kamoshirenai. So he goes, so basically he has an idea. So da! Kono zuka ni nani ka kaite aru kamoshirenai. Because we can't ask the putra don. That's a stupid idea. The smart idea mm -hmm. is to look inside the zukan. Because nani ka kaite aru kama shirinai. Perhaps. <laughs> yep. Um. So first up, kono zukan ni. What does that mean? Kono zukan ni. So that picture book with ni referring yes. to whatever's after that. Yes, that's true. Um, commonly, what kind of information does the particle knee tell us? Uh, it's like a directional thing. Yes, exactly. It's a directional thing. Perfect. Then you have nanika. Do you know what that means? It's nani. Nanika. Plus ka. So, something. Yep. Yep. Something should be kaite aru. Which is very kaite similar aru. to kaite a, kaite, so um, adu is here because it's just saying basically was it's like the in English I think it would be called the past participle or something I don't know like the grammar for it. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like is in a like was kind of way in English, but what does kaku mean? Is but was <laughs> kaku is um to write. Yes. To pen, so, whatever it was. Yep, to write. So in the English, we would have two negatives here, I think. Was written. Which I wrote write it here. But was, was written. written. Write it. Uh, so something might be written. So maybe we don't have the was in here. Something was written. So it says within the Zukan, there might be something written in it. Something might hmm. be written. Written. So what do you, kind of information do you think he's hoping to find in the Zukan? Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully something that has to do with the Pteradon. Possibly. Uh, the story continues. True, true. Well, it's also possible he wants to know like, Koko wa doko na no? Kana? <laughs> Answer that. Kata. True. Where are yeah. we? And what, what, what is the, why is the Pteradon here? Um, This verb right here, hiraku, do you know what that means? Uh, to labor or just to work, I guess. That is correct. Hataraku. Hata... Hataraku is to work. Hataraku. 
which is very similar to hiraku. Hataraku. Uh, same kind of ugoku. Harak, haraku. Hi, hiraku. 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 <laughs> uh, has the same hmm. meaning as aku. Um, to open. Yep, to open. They both mean to open. Hiraku. Aku. Um, do you recognize this kanji? Um, I recognize it, mm. but do I know it? Hmm. My store had a, my story was meeting Van story. Gogh. <laughs> was meeting Van Gogh. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Mm. Um, vaguely remember it. So this word There's right here train. shows up in Ehon. Which I'll show you the kanji for that. Ehon. Hmm. Hon, hon. Which is very similar to a zukan. Origin? Sadly, no. Um, hon can mean origin, um, but in this case, hon means book. So, a zukan. Book. So, hon. Hon can mean origin. Or hon can mean book. Hon has three possible meanings, that kanji. It can mean origin. It can mean book. Or it could mean cube-like object, counting. So in Nihon, like in Japan, it means the origin of the sun. But in Honya, Hi. Honya it means bookshop. Honya. And in um, ippon, ippon, it means one long cylinder, one cylinderish object. Um, the joke is that this possibly happened because people used to write in squirrels. Squir squir squirrels. Scrolls, right? So that that's where that idea might have come from. So this right here is e. Eh. E eh basically means like oh. a drawing. Painting, yes. yeah. So an ehon is a book with drawings in it, which could be, which is um like a picture book. It can also just be a picture, a book with pictures inside of it, like a just like like not even like a storybook theoretically, but storybook is the most more common thing you'll see if you Google like ehon. Um, do you remember this guy down here? I saw this earlier. That is kaku. Yeah, and this guy. This is, um, I think it has a he in it. Mm, that's hiraku? a good. Sadly, hiraku, no, hiraku was so hiraku. Let's go look at the kanji for hiraku real quick. So hiraku has a gate. So you, for whatever reason, this little guy right here is like a tori, and it's like, come in, the gate's open. It's hiraku. <laughs> Versus um shimeru, for example, shimeru is to close. Oh. Shimeru. Tojiru is to close. Uh, shimeru also means to close, but different kanji. <laughs> so Tojiru also has our nice gate kanji. But for closing, we have this guy standing with their leg out. And they're saying, no! It's like a goalie right here. We got a little goalie right here being like, you Damn shall it. not pass! They're, they're ready to stop you from passing. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy right here we actually haven't seen this one lately, but we probably saw this in the past. This right here is de, yeah. like in dedu. Do you dedu. know what dedu means? Um, oh, I might have forgotten that one. It sounds familiar though. Dedu, yeah. it's like to cross over, but that kind was a different of. word. That, it is kind of like that. So dedu a lot of times will be translated as to exit. But I mm. would I would argue it's more accurate meaning is to appear. Which, oh, it was like, it was like oh, I can't remember. Yeah. I had so, a weird example to it. Yeah, it's it's so for example, this would show up in Deguchi, which is if you're I, inside of a building and you want to exit, you want to exit out of the Deguchi, which for me that's when you appear yep. outside. That's why it's Deguchi. But it also shows up in Kao Dasu, is where I believe we saw this not that long ago. Uh this is back when Annie first entered the treehouse. 
which means her head popped out. So Jack couldn't see Annie, but when her head appeared, her cow dasud from the model, probably. She was like, it's me, Annie. You can also dasu like pens from your backpack. Uh, dasu and deru is the same verb. The difference is what is doing the action. So like watashi wa deru is I leave, but old dasu means you take a part out. So if you're take so if you exited mm. the backpack, that would be deru. But if you took something out of the backpack, that would be dasu. Dasu, so, hi. So the difference is what's getting the wa. So wa doing the deduing gets that. Wa forcing deduing is the dasu. But they're the same. That's it. Same meaning. But yeah, so I like thinking about it as appear to appear because especially I feel like it helps later on with how many um compound words has dedu in it. Um, and before we go to the next page, what's this guy again? Hmm. Um. Uh, the, the, the key, not key. It's a painting. It so is it's painting. Yeah. Eh, it is eh. Eh, eh. Nice. Hi. Yeah, sadly, I can't think of a good like sound thing. Because for here, it's ito, which is thread. And you know, like old paintings used to be on canvas. So you, you can get like meanings for things. And for here, it's au, which is to meet. But none of these have an eh sound in it. So <laughs> that really makes hmm. a nice eh remembering. Uh, what's this word? Eto, ano, uh, it's kaku, not kaku. It's hiraku. 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 Depending right. on context, you can see this exact thing and it will be aku, which um, basically is the same thing. Hiraku and aku. Um, I, I personally don't know the difference on top of my head. Uh, basically, one of them you can use all the time, which I believe is hiraku. And the other one, aku, is can only be used like half the time. Uh, but hmm. anyway, it's hiraku in this context. So, um, let's go read this sentence. Uh, Jack wa Potera don no, uh, pa 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 ega ude or uteiru. Good guy, page o deteiru. Deteiru. Deteiru, page o, mm-mm-mm, the gate, so, what was the gate? Hira. Hiraite, Hiraite, um, painting, Eno, Eno, Stani, Kaite, Aru, Setine, Setine, this would be to Setsume, sorry, Setsune, Setsume, oh, uh, Yomi Ageta. Nice. Let's read it one more time. Hi. Jack wa Pteradon no Ega Tateiru Peji o Kaite Kaite Eno Shitani Kaite Aru Setsume o Yomi Ageta. Nice. What's this guy one more time? Uh, Kaite. So kaite was kaite. this guy. This one's kaite. This is hiraite. 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 Nice. So right here we see we got deteiru showing up here. And as I said, learning it as to appear probably makes a lot more sense in this context than to exit. <laughs> I just, I just, right. if you, I don't know why they teach it as to exit uh, normally. Um. So, Jacku wa tetsume o yomi ageta. What does that mean? Hmm. Jack wa tetsume o yomi ageta. So, Jack tetsume o yomi ageta. Yomi ageta. Do you know to what read yomi unders. Close. This is actually due to read up, which means to read out loud. To read out loud. Ageta. It, yep. Ageta comes from upwards. Up. Ageru. Ageru. Here's the kanji for you. See, has that up little kanji for you. Um, so ageru has lots of meaning. Ageru. One version is basically to raise your voice because it's going upwards. So yomi ageru. 
To read upwards is to read out loud. What does he read out loud? A setsume. Setsume. So a setsume is like, uh, l -l 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 -l, what was it? Explanation. Explana yes. Yeah, explanation. You're right. It is explanation. So Jack reads out loud the explanation. The explanation. So now, what? Yes. What was which explanation did he read out? That's what this rest uh rest of this is, is describing mm. that. Um, so we could put that on pause and start with um this relative clause. Putra da no e. What does that mean? Putra da no e. Putra da no e. So the pterodon's uh picture image. Yes. Now we're describing a pagey. Putra de don no e ga de teiru peiji. Peiji. So the page appeared with a picture of the pterodon. Yes, the page with the picture of the pterodon appearing on it. <laughs> or I guess it's like on it, basically. Oh, I wonder how we would really would translate it into English. I want to say like depicted, but that does, that's such a big word. <laughs> Just not really what it's saying. It's just saying the picture is on this page, and what's on it is a putteradon. But it's being illustrated by saying it pop, it comes out, it appears. So Jacku Hirakus, a book. The book's not written here, which is this page. Which what do you know what Hiraku means? Hiraku. So Hiraku was what was Hiraku? Hiraku. Let's look at that kanji. We got a gate. Hi. And then and then we have a Tori gate in the back. And it's open. Come in. So it's like to enter, but not really. It's to open. Yes, it is to open. So basically he's saying he opens the book to the page. That there is a putradon picture. In the book he's opening is the Zukan, which is the picture encyclopedia. So he's on this page now. Now he's going on to read aloud the setsume that is located in no shitani. Painting no. So under the image. Yep. Kaite aru. Kaite aru. So kaite. Kaite means what does kaite mean? Kaku means to write. Hai. So kaite to have written. Yep. And aru is like it exists. Yeah. It was written to exist at, yeah, something like that. Yep. <laughs> it's basically, they use aru in Japanese to kind of illustrate, we're not, we don't, that something is like currently existing somewhere, basically. So, uh, like any kind of text. So, um, so it, so we say in English, it is written or something, I think is what we say. Uh, like, oh, yep. written on the stop sign is the word stop. So that, that's how we say it. In Japanese, they say kaite aru. So they have it more in more present tense, but with aru rather than like iru. So yeah, nice. Let's try doing it all together then. Hi. Uh, Jack wa puteradon no mm -mm. eiga eiga dete iru peiji o he hiraite nice hiraite e no shita ni kaite aru setsume o yomi ageta perfect and what does it say mm -hmm. so jack pterodon no so pterodon's picture oh mm. sorry Pterodon's picture appeared. What appeared though? The page of the Pterodon picture. 
So you're getting a little confused about how these um, relative clauses works. So a relative clause describes the um, whatever this is. However, this part right here, pagey, can be um, doesn't have to be the one doing the verb. So it's not like the page is appearing. What's appearing is the e. E ga deteru. So a picture is appearing on the page. So we're describing the page as a page that has a picture appearing on it. Um, if this wasn't in here, it just said deteru page. That is a possible reading of this. This could be a page that has appeared. Um, so in Japanese, when we have a verb right here, what goes over here can be, I guess, the object or the subject. It basically, it has to be, I think, the topic is what it is. It's the topic. So there is um, some amount of vagueness that goes on with relative clauses. That doesn't really work with um, English that much, I don't think. So it does make sense to be a little bit iffy on that, uh, especially if I've never like pointed that out before. I have like a really good example hmm. sentence uh, somewhere that I can show you after our lesson that illustrates this. That was from a linguistics book of mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it could be either. It's um, a little bit free. But in this case, because we already have ga here, that's telling us e ga deteru. So the thing that's deteruing is the e. So that's the subject. So it appears on Hi. the page. So Jack, what he's doing is hiraku. He's hirakuing a page of a book to a page in a book. Right, which has the pterodon image on it. Yes, exactly. And then what does he do after he opens to that page? Then, um, enashitani, so under the picture, we have kaite aru. Kaite aru. Kaite aru setsume. Oh, so under the uh, picture, there's a written explanation. Yep. So you can see right here, we have this version right here, which is doing the stuff you did earlier with the pagey, where the subject, kaite aru, is tsutsume, while over here, the subject isn't that. So this right here is the two different versions. So I can see how that's like extremely <laughs> confusing. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, so this kanji right up here means dragon. Mm. It's pronounced like you. Dragons do not show up Indeed. in this book, but kyoryu and a yokoryu both show up in this book. What's a kyoryu, do you remember? Kyoryu is a dinosaur. Yes. What's a yokoryu? Do you remember? That is a big monster. That's a good guess. That's actually kaiju. Yokoryu is oh, a kaiju. flying um a flying dinosaur, which is like a putteradon, for example. A putter putteradon is an example of a yokoryu. It's like the Hi. dinosaur ca bigger category. So can you read this for me real quick? So that's Kyoryu. Nice. Which is a dinosaur. Perfect. And how about this? Can you read this? Um, Homono? Nice. I guess. So right here, Momo. Oh, I was right. Yep, you're correct. Uh, what does Mono mean? Oh. Uh, thing. Thing, yep. And then we have Honmono. So Hon, of course, has multiple meanings. My hint is not book. It's not the meaning of book. So what do you think yeah. honmono means? Real thing, I'd imagine. Yep. Real thing. Specifically, it's like the original item. Honmono. Which is the real thing, yes. Uh, real thing. So we've learned toeyu in the past. Um, I basically told you it is basically like saying something's name. For example, yokuryu toeyu kyoryu means a dinosaur that is known as yokuryu. But this is actually a little bit false. Um, it's how I tend to think about it. But to be exact, what this is doing is defining things. Toyu is kind of a definition word. 
So you might, so you'll also see like with when we when you want to like define adjectives, if you're in like a perfect sentence, you'd have toyu in there. So what you're doing is you're defining this thing as this. Yokuryu toyu kyoryu. So you're just saying it's a yokuryu that is being defined as a dinosaur. That's, that's what it is. So it works with names as well. So if you had like Sam is human, for example, it'd be Sam toyu ningen. So all it's really so rather than saying a human called Sam, a more direct translation would be a human that is defined as I mean a Sam that is defined as the human. Um, th this isn't like super important yet, as I think the next one is also it's just going to be very similar to this. Um, but later on, we do have a more def defining version versus like a named version. Um, an interesting thing, just as like a fun, if you if this repeats it, like if I said um kyoryu toyu kyoryu, this is grammatically correct, which is um uh dinosaurs defined as dinosaurs. This dinosaurs. means all. This is a way of saying all dinosaurs. All dinosaurs. Interesting. It's a bit weird. Kyoryu to you, kyoryu. So um, this is like a kind of a storyteller-like word. So um, for example, I saw in a book I was reading not a lot long ago, um, roji to you, roji, to mean all in every alleyway. <laughs> to, to refer to like hmm. how damp and miserable the alleyways of this certain city were. So that's kind of where that defining um, characteristic comes from. So before we read this page, um, we're going to do the flippy because we're at the halfway point. So I'm going to exit this and you just pop back in. See you in two seconds. Yep.